Hi, I'm Thad Hunter with the Mesa Fire and Medical Department. Um, a lot of people don't know that uh, the City of Mesa's uh, Fire Department is in charge of all the uh, medical calls that we go on. So uh, every truck has two paramedics and has two EMTs. And any given day, we really don't know what kind of calls we're going to go on. We could go on somebody in cardiac arrest, we could go on somebody who has chest pain, or we could actually go on uh, a child that might have broken their arm or their leg. So part of our job is this drug box. And this drug box has uh, about 29 different medications that we take with us to, uh, to help you with your emergency. Um, we do have cardiac drugs. We have drugs in case someone would accidentally overdose on uh, pain medicine uh, or, or maybe heroin if it's a drug overdose. Uh, we do have cardiac calls, I'm sorry, uh, diabetic calls. So we have glucose and dextrose. Uh, if you do take an accidental uh, overdose of something, we have activated charcoal, and that charcoal is something that you eat, and you don't want that, so don't do that. Uh, we have pain medication. In case you were injured, burned, or you broke a leg, we, we have morphine, we have fentanyl, uh, we, have, we have drugs that can take away the pain. And in here, uh, we have a lot of respiratory calls. Uh, a lot of people with asthma, uh, COPD, so we have uh, epitopium bromide, we have a butyrol, again, more cardiac, um, aspirin for heart attacks. A as you can see, we're bringing a, uh, a large arsenal of medication uh, to come to your emergency. We do a lot of training outside of, out of the fire department. Uh, we are going to be your primary caregivers on an emergency scene well equipped, we do a lot of training, and that's part of what I love about my job is that I'm able to uh, go out and give the customer service that the citizens of Mesa deserve. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave us a question on social media, Facebook, or Twitter.